Nissan GTR speed density. High power, high resolution, 26 by 21 speed density map, providing more accurate calibration, high RPM and high load. Volumetric efficiency based calculation against any of the following. Aftermarket charge S sensor, factory intake air sensor or fixed temperature calibration. ProCU also offers a powerful hybrid option to switch from math to speed density or speed density to math. You can do it against any or all of the following. Engine RPM, mass airflow, grams per second, manifold pressure in bar. Ecutech Race from Speed Density is found on the latest Ecutech Phase 3 Race from feature file, which is version 12738, which can be downloaded from Ecutech Update. To find the maps, we simply go to Maps, Ecutech Race from Maps. We've got a dedicated Speed Density category, and we can see here the different Speed Density options available. We open the speed density map, put him on the screen. We're just going to reduce the size of the map to make it easier for people to see. And we can see the shape of the default map. This default calibration has been set up by us and it goes up to uh, two bar which would be the most for most applications. It's possible to rescale it um, to whichever pressure you're running. The speed density can be enabled in any of the four map switch modes. So we could have a math based tune running in mode 1 and mode 2, but we could enable speed density in mode 3 and mode 4. We could have speed density activate below instead of above. So um, we could have math at idle and then maybe when we go past 3000 RPM we switch to speed density or we could swap it the other way around. We can have it so we have map at idle, speed density at idle and we run mass airflow at past 3000 RPM for example. We also have the option um, for an external charge air temperature sensor import. So we can fit an aftermarket intake air temperature sensor in the charge pipe. We can import that into the ECU, shown in the Race ROM custom maps manual, um, and we can have a dedicated temperature scale to calibrate the aftermarket air temperature sensor. We'd set this up for whatever settings, uh, whichever air temperature sensor we use. So we'd use enable alternate scale if the scale doesn't fit the standard Nissan sensor scaling that's available in the factory ECU. So sensor scaling, the coolant temperature and the intake air temperature sensors share a common scaling. So if we're going to use a dedicated charge air temperature sensor, then we would enable AIT and then we would fill in the additional intake of charge air sensor scaling. So if we enable speed density in mode 4, we can have full time speed density no problem. As discussed, we could have map at idle, we could have swap into um, speed density at higher load. So we could say, so as we can see here, we could say at 3100 RPM, so now ECU will use the speed density mass airflow rather than the MAP sensor um, up until 3100 and then swap over and as we drop back down again we'll go back on speed density um, with the MAP sensor being ignored. We could also say so 100 grams and 90 grams so ECU is going to use um, make sure I get it the right way round. 
ECUs can use speed density up to 100 grams and 3,100 RPM, and then swap to math, and then on the way back down, as soon as it passes 90 and 3,000 RPM, it would swap back again. So with activation RPM, manifold relative pressure, and math, we can offer hybrid mode that can be used in any of the four modes. The new speed density working extremely well, very smooth. Um, the original um, speed density was mass airflow based, was a mass airflow based conversion and certainly the volumetric efficiency version is far superior. Um, it was a lot of work to make it work properly um, but really worth the effort and um, you should give it a go. certainly works very well. Um, air temperature compensation, uh, fixed temperature compensation and charge air temp method. So you can use the fixed temperature which we've got to set up at 20 degrees. You can use intake air temperature sensor measures the charge air temp directly. So that's using the factory intake sensor where you relocate the, the MAP sensors into the charge pipe. A lot of people doing some good plug and play kits. We've tested a few here now um, where you relocate the MAP sensors into the charge pipe. Um, it does work extremely well. So the intake air sensors are actually showing charge air temperature and it works um, extremely well. We also did the uh, fuel temperature sensor hijack where we used an aftermarket charge air temperature sensor um, but we didn't really find any advantage over relocating the intake air sensors into the charge pipe so certainly recommend I think it was um, got boosted performance make the kit do a very nice um, plug, and, plug and play map sensor with um, charge air temperature built in um, works extremely well and quite a few people then just remove the maps completely but the intake air the charge air temperature is measured through the map sensor 